Hey guys, it's Katie here and in this video I will show you how to connect um, your domain to your Kartra account so that you can use your domain for your funnel or your blog or whatever it is that you want to use that domain for. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, this is actually one of my client's accounts. I will just go ahead and show you how I am connecting um, his domain to his uh, funnel and to his Kartra account. So when you are in Kartra, just go ahead and click on your profile. Go ahead and choose custom domains in the drop down here. And the next thing that you'll need to do, you'll need to click the add um, domain button here. And then in this video, I'll show you how to connect the main domain, not specifically a subdomain. So I will go ahead and uh, choose only the main domain. And I'll go ahead and um, paste the domain that I want to connect from GoDaddy. He has purchased a domain in GoDaddy.com. So if you haven't purchased your domain yet, you will, you know, have to do that um, prior to connecting it. So um, since he already purchased it, we will go ahead and um, just paste it in here. You also have um, an option here to uh, to um, change this. Uh, favicon here so I don't have uh, you know the image for his domain at the moment so I will just go ahead and leave it as it is and click next and then the next step here it um, says you know how to connect your um, domain so what I did you know in the beginning when I didn't know how to connect it and if you want to have like a guide uh, for yourself to help you go through the steps you just have to click integration guide and then you'll have to choose custom domains here on the side and it'll um, tell you exactly how to connect a domain or a subdomain depends what it is that you're connecting. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna follow um, you know, these steps here and connect the domain. As it says here, we will need to create a CNAME for that specific domain. So what we're gonna do is go back to GoDaddy and click on this domain and then just scroll down and where it says manage DNS, that's where you would click to go into the area where you can add the CNAME. As you can see, there's um, a few things here and you don't have to touch any of these things. Just simply go ahead and click add. And the next thing here, um, choose CNAME. And what you'll need to do, you'll need to put in a host and where it points to. So if you go back to um, the integration guide here you'll actually see what exactly to put in there you'll have to enter the www so let's go back and enter www and then point to what you'd need to do you would need to basically put your um, Kartra username dot Kartra dot com as it says right here username um, dot Kartra dot com so let's go ahead and put in um, what we need to put in here and then click save. The reason that it doesn't um, allow us to do it, I believe because um, there is already a um, www CNAME. So let's go ahead and get uh, rid of this CNAME here. If you don't have um, the CNAME here, you're fine. So I will go ahead and just delete this CNAME here. All right, and let's try connecting or creating a CNAME again. So it worked, we have created a C name. So what we're gonna do next, we'll go ahead and scroll down on this integration guide here and see what we need to do next. So what it tells us to do is to forward your root domain. So let's go ahead and do that. What we're gonna do is we will go ahead and scroll down and then go ahead and click um, add where it says forward and let's go ahead and click add on domain and then it tells us that we need to use the HTTPS instead of just um, you know without S here so let's go ahead and choose that and let's go ahead and type in um, our domain as it says right here we would we'll basically need to put in our domain um, in the forward in um, section there don't forget to put in the www. You can simply type it in or you, you to make sure you um, don't make any mistakes. 
you can just copy your domain and just paste it in there. Just make sure you put in um, the HTTPS and the www part here and then click save. All right, let's go back to our integration here. And uh, the next thing what we basically need to do is just uh, wait for the activation. So let's go ahead and go back to Kartra um, and click, yes, I have completed the steps above um, to link my custom domain to Kartra and click next and we will have to choose a page the page that we have created if you already have a page created um, if not you'll basically need to create a new page by clicking here um, but if you already have a page created the page where you want visitors to go where, when they visit your um, domain you will have to just choose a page here and then you'll also need to connect your 404 page this is um, if somebody misspells uh, your domain, that's where it's going to take them. So let's go ahead and choose that page. I've also created it, so I'll be able to choose it here. If not, you'll have to create it and then connect it um, here. So let's go ahead and cl click Next. And um, as you can see here, it just says the domain integration process has started. It should be completed within the day. So it's usually quick um, for me. Sometimes it takes longer, so it all depends, I guess. So just give it some time. And um, when this icon turns, you know, to green or it says activated, it should be activated. So let's just close it. And right now it just says it's um, processing. You just have to wait until it activates. As soon as it's activated, your um, domain should be working when you go to your um, domain it's gonna take you to the page that you have connected to this domain and um, also in this video I do want to uh, share with you guys how to connect it to your blog let's say you have a blog like I have my own blog I have katielendl.com and um, I have it set up with Kartra. so let's say um, you have a blog as well and you want to connect the domain to your um, blog page or your home page on your blog and then you want you know the other pages you want to be um, you know connected to that um, domain and to your actual blog like for example you have an about page you want it to be like katielendl.com forward slash about so it doesn't say something like um, katielendl.kartra.com forward slash page forward slash about um, you know it's more simple and quick or short domain I'll go ahead and share with you how to connect um, you know your blog pages to this uh, to your specific domain so once this has been processed let's just go ahead and refresh it and see if it's been processed yet see as you can see it's already connected so it should be working let's just go ahead and go to this domain and see if it actually works it works it takes us to the page that um, you know I actually wanted them to go to or uh, want visitors to go to um, the page that I have connected to this specific domain so let's go ahead and uh, I'll just show you um, really quick how to connect your domain to your actual pages so your links um, look good when you have a blog so I will go ahead and just sign into my account really quick so I am here in my account on my uh, pages here and I will just go ahead and choose the about page and click um, edit and I'll show you how to connect uh, a specific blog page to your domain. I do have um, katielendl.com connected to my um, Kartra account and integrated it and everything so it works great. I just want to show you how to connect a specific page to um, the domain. So um, I will go ahead and click Actions in Publish Live. When you are uh, publishing it live, it will actually give you an option here. I don't have it you know, here anymore because I've created this page um, already and um, I've chosen you know, which link I want them to go to. But you'll basically have an o two options here that um, you can choose from. And it'll be something like, um, do you want to um, you know, choose just leave it as um, katielendl.kartra.com forward slash page forward slash about or do you want it to be connected to your 
um, domain that you have within Kartra. So what I did, I chose, um, you know, obviously I wanted to be connected to, um, you know, katielendl.com and then I just added this part in the about part. So um, that's basically all that you'd have to do. You have to do it here when you're actually publishing the page. And since mine, you know, has been published already, it doesn't allow me to, you know, it doesn't have a drop down to choose which link I want to use for this page. But you should have, you know, a, a couple options here if you have connected your domain to your card track. That's all I wanted to show you guys. Um, if you have enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave me a comment below. Click thumbs up and also if you have any other questions regarding um, Kartra and how to connect something or set something up within Kartra, let me know in the comments below. Um, I like to engage with you guys and I like to put out content out there that you guys actually need. Um, something that you actually need help with. Also, if you have like an urgent question and you don't want um, to wait for me to do a specific training a video on, you know, what it, whatever it is that you need help with, go ahead and check out the link below this video. I do offer a 30-minute session um, with me to, um, you know, to help you guys out with uh, a quick thing that you need help with and also you know if you decide to work with me um, down the road I do offer coaching sessions as well you can just simply click the link below and um, fill out a quick questionnaire book the first initial strategy call we can go over your um, you know your issue uh, if it's just a quick issue that needs um, fixing and then we can also schedule coaching sessions if that's what you're looking for um, I would love to help you guys set, um, you know, your business up online, help you out with the whole car trust setup that you need help with. And um, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Also, don't forget to check out my website for more training videos, for more value, for um, my free ebook that I also have for you guys here. So go ahead and just check out, um, you know, katielandol.com or just simply click on the link below and you'll be able to actually download my ebook that I have for you guys um, for free. It's the seven aspects of building a successful internet business. So go ahead and check out those things below the video and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.